Today we are making strawberry chiffon cake and in the end I'm going to enjoy it as chiffon strawberry sandwich. It's perfect to share at picnic or any gatherings. So let's get started. Eggs. Wait, they're so cute. And we're gonna add granulated sugar and quickly mix. So usually I whip a lot here to let it contain a lot of air so that the cake can rise more. But today we are adding baking powder, so I did not whip here. All right, looking good. And add oil. Today I'm using extra virgin olive oil, but you can use any regular oils. And mix. And next, we are going to puree fresh strawberries. I recommend you to get this done as a preparation beforehand. This guy has a legs. <laughs> puree it until you don't see any chunks and it looks nice and smooth. Add lemon juice and mix beforehand. Add the puree and mix. With just strawberry puree, the chiffon cake does not taste strawberries enough, so we are adding freeze dried strawberry today. If you cannot find the powder, you can grind the slices like this. Now we're gonna sift all the flowers ahead. Add cake flour, the freeze-dried strawberry powder, and half teaspoon of baking powder. You can bake chiffon cake without baking powder, but I decided to add it this time to make it fluffier since the butter is slightly heavier than usual because of lots of strawberry puree inside. So now it looks uneven, so I'm just gonna mix more with the whisk. And mix. After you add flowers, Make sure to mix until you don't see any more flowers. If you don't mix enough, you might see a piece of flour in the baked siphon cake, which we do not want. And I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of pink coloring. Set aside. All right, so the last thing we do is making meringue and mix them all together. So let's finish them up. So make sure that your bowl is very clean with no liquids or oil so that your meringue is gonna get whipped up really well. Once your egg whites get whipped up well, like very fluffy shampoo, add sugar for meringue and keep whipping. Toward the end, lower the speed to low medium speed and whip for a few minutes or so to make the air bubbles smaller. I like to whip up until it gets very fluffy like this and this is important. Right after it's done, quickly add about half of that amount and start folding right away to big fluffy yet silky chiffon cake. Stop when it's lovely mixed and before you add the last of meringue, this is important again, mix your meringue with the whisk like that until it looks smooth and shiny again. French meringue starts separating so quickly even when you leave it for just a bit. By doing this, the meringue gets more smooth, stable and easier to fold in.
once it's lovely mixed again switch to spatula and fold one more time just to clean everything and make sure that everything is nicely blended Do not over mix at all once it's even, quickly pour in the pan. And I toss very gently so that the batter does not come out from the bottom. And using the toothpick, I swirl from the center to the edge and come back and repeat that for a few times. This eliminates a lot of big elbow balls left in the batter. And let's bake until it bounces back gently. I like to toss gently to release some steams inside so that it will not sink too much after it's cooled down and I flip and wait until it cools down completely. To remove from a pan, push down the center and also around the edge like this. And push down like that. And push over here like this. And push the side like that to detach the bottom. Like this, go around. This part is actually so satisfying. It comes off so easily. I noticed that the flavor got stronger the next day. When it's just made, the flavor of fresh strawberries, freeze dried strawberry powder, and lemon juice were kind of all existed separately, but after a day, they blended out and became one. So if you have time, I recommend you to let it last in the fridge. And now let's make whipped cream and build the sandwiches. Enjoy this chiffon cake on a sunny day outside or eat at home as a snack with your family and friends. It is very fluffy, moist, and I can easily eat a few of them at the same time. 
that's it for today and if you like this video please like and let me know by commenting below thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you in my next video bye bye